Welcome to Listertainment, the channel with the most deceptive name in all of YouTube. We are here to see 5 more fights that were a total failure even after they were promoted like crazy because the best possible fighters were going to face off against the best possible fighters. We all want to see the best fighting the best and we pay a lot of money to see them live but like everything in life there are those days when nothing goes well. The fight is boring and they leave us DISAPPOINTED since we had raised our anxieties and emotions to the highest level. Like when you're about to put it in but something happens and you end up with blue balls and wet underwear. If you happen to enjoy this video please give it a like and subscribe down below. Also make sure to turn on those notifications. Let's get started. In one of the biggest clobberings I've ever seen, we have the highly anticipated fight between Oscar de la Hoya and Manny Pacquiao. Everyone thought that Oscar had a chance in this fight because he was the bigger guy and was favored by most experts. But what do experts know, huh? Cause Manny absolutely put a beating on poor old Oscar. No height difference That's between right. them. And that Pacquiao lands a brilliant up. De la Hoya has not been able to solve pa this fight was not disappointing in the action, it was disappointing because everyone expected there to be an actual fight with both fighters exchanging legitimate shots and it being competitive. But Manny absolutely lit up Oscar for 8 rounds, at which point Oscar refused to come out for the 9th. And if Oscar's not going to, to you know, have him so much, and, and even if retired unbeaten, he has his right hand firmly stuck. And Manny basically made Oscar retire from the sport of boxing. And Manny. But Manny is too smart and too fast for it. Now he's looking like the immortal Armstrong. And Tony, Tony, Oscar Tony, is Tony barely showing hard shots. Deloya hasn't been down, but that may be the only thing that's keeping. Tony Weeks has a tough decision in front of him. The huge unification boxing fight in the lightweight division between Vasily Lomachenko and Teofimo Lopez was highly anticipated as the best pound for pound fighter to many and Lomachenko was going to have the chance to unify the division he had been dominating and the young braggadocious Lopez was really confident that he was going to win. The actual fight was a letdown to many fans, including myself, because although Lomachenko is known as a slow starter, he basically didn't do jack shit for 6 rounds, allowing Lopez to take control of the fight in all the rounds. Right now, he's gonna have to close that range like that, but still be steps with him, with the guard with the right hand. When Vasily finally came back to life, he was able to do a lot better and was able to get some good shots on Lopez, but it was just too late. It was later discovered that Lomachenko also had a shoulder injury that required surgery after the fight, which adds to the drama of this fight as Lomachenko's performance in the beginning was highly out of the ordinary. The first fight between Muhammad Ali and Sonny Liston had a ton of controversy, including claims that Liston's corner had blinded Ali with some unknown substance. Also that Liston had a shoulder injury that forced him to quit before the 7th round. And finally that there might have been a fix. I see that Joe's eyes, his eyes are bothering him. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't know exactly what happened, the right eye, uh, however he's blinking badly. Either way, Liston was disappointed that he lost the fight and it was visible when he spit out his mouthpiece like he didn't want to stop but he had to. The second fight though was the highly disappointing fight. It was all due to a phantom punch. Good right fight play. Did you see the punch? The fight of course was a highly anticipated since Liston could maybe try to recover his pride but he went down in the first round with a punch that during that time nobody saw. It was utter chaos right after the right hand landed and Ali didn't help with any assumptions that he fixed since he was yelling at Liston, nobody will believe this and of course nobody did. To this day it's still debated whether this fight was fixed or not. In 
In the ongoing rivalry between Mexico and Puerto Rico, we had the welterweight unification fight between undefeated champion Oscar de la Hoya and Felix Trinidad. The fight started out great with Oscar dominating the fight for the entire first half, easily winning, but for some stupid reason, he decided to run away from Trinidad for the last three rounds. And even though he should still have won the fight, the judges gave the win to Trinidad. Nobody, and I mean nobody, had any sympathy for Oscar, since this is supposed to be one of the biggest fights of all time, and instead of giving people a show for all 12 rounds, you decided to run around because you thought you had secured your victory. It was a complete joke by De La Hoya, and this was his first blemish on his career, and it was earned because of his crappy attitude. Finish the freaking fight, and give people the entertainment they paid for. Time Oscar really losing seconds now of the fifth round. Definitive about three or four for Oscar and De La Hoya. The fight that was wanted for years, but the stupid fighters couldn't agree to the revenue split, finally happened in 2015 when Manny Pacquiao was facing off against Floyd Mayweather Jr. This fight sold a total of 4.6 million pay-per-view buys, grossing $410 million, and both fighters made well over $150 million. Two clean right hand shots in the first round. Eight of 36, and the two big right hands. That was a call of fire. He's out of range. And Mayweather lands 50% of his opponent are swinging at air against Floyd Mayweather here tonight. You don't call the best defensive fighter. The actual fight turned out to be a huge letdown as Pacquiao tried to be his usual aggressive self, but he had an injured shoulder prior to the fight and he never disclosed it until after the fight, at which point it required surgery. Some say that this affected Pacquiao's offensive output and I think it was evident by seeing the fight. Also Mayweather fought as his usual self with a heavy defense, with a ton of dodging with one punch attacks that allowed him to outland Pacquiao by 67 punches. The need to develop and a right hand, a left hand shot, slip for Pacquiao, and now the Pacquiao-oriented crowd is going wild. People were expecting this to be a fight of the century, as the better never the late fight. It just sucked, and it should have happened five years earlier. Man, that Mayweather versus Pacquiao fight was freaking infuriating. I wanted to see the best versus the best for so long, and then they show up and have this sad showing? What a load of crock. Thanks for watching this video, see you next time.